Hello everyone, Leather Teen Scale here, also known as Scale, and welcome back to more Life is Strange Before the Storm. Uh, that's the thing, right? Like, in real... I don't know where to start with this. I don't know where to start with this, because he is very much exemplifying some incel culture here. Where it's like... I'm, I am the good guy. I am the bastion of goodness. I'm always there for her. Like, why, why doesn't she see me as a potential date option? Despite the fact that we just don't really seem compatible because you are such a goody two-shoes and Chloe just isn't. Chloe never was. You have this perfect version of her put on a pedal, like on a pedestal that she's you know, gonna like this such a nice, sweet, and wonderful person. But the thing is, she hasn't been that person. She hasn't been that person in a very long time. And on the one hand, I'd like to just be like, yeah, I appreciate your concern, but honestly, I've, I've got other more important stuff going on right now that we don't need this confrontation right at this moment. Like, if you want me to take you seriously, that's fine, but now is not the time to be doing that. Um... But I also feel like he's not going to leave her alone if I just keep playing nice. <sighs> but whatever. I, I hear you. I, I appreciate the concern. I don't think you do. I do. The problem I'm is... I'm the one who cares about you, Chloe. Me, not Rachel. It's time you saw the truth. What does that mean? It means you're going to stop thinking about Rachel and pay attention to me now. For once. Okay. I don't have time for this. I genuinely don't. Calming him down isn't going to do anything. He's already mad. It, it doesn't help to keep... No. Look, I'm sorry. But I really need to go. Why did you make me do that? Oh, I made you. Did you just listen to me? I made you. Who are we calling for help? The police? Who is getting called for help? You have a cell phone on you. Why are you trying to reach for that one? Elliot, please. I know you're upset. But... Ugh, I'm not upset. I'm trying to help you. Really? What about what you're doing makes you think I would ever want to give you the time of day? Guess we got to call for help. Elliot's gone full blown crazy. I I need to get the police to come without tipping him off. Who was there for you? When Max left? When your dad died? No one else gave a shit about you except for me. We have a lot to talk about. And I don't care how long it takes. We're not leaving until you see that I'm right. Oh, not until you hear me out. Just just call 911 and hang up. Call them twice, hang up, they'll triangulate the location. All right, Elliot. Y you want to talk so bad? Let's talk. What's really going on here? You can tell me. Um. Here at Amber's house? You mean here? Specifically? Like, uh, the Amber house? I'm talking about your situation. Rachel is dangerous. You need to realize that. I feel threatened. You're right, Elliot. I didn't want to admit it before, but it's true. My life is in danger. There you go. Thank there you, you go. Chloe. All I want is to help you. I'm glad you can finally see that. Help me, please. You're right. 
this whole thing has been a cry for help. Help me. Help me now. Hey, it's okay. I'm not going anywhere. I wish I could leave. I feel trapped. Boxed in. I desperately want to leave this situation. It takes a lot of guts to tell me all this. And I want you to know that I will Don't kiss her. Be there for Do you. not kiss her. No matter what. Okay, at least he didn't do that much. Thank you. It's the police. Okay, don't panic. Uh, I'm sure they'll just want to ask us why we're here. What do we do? I'll talk to them. Uh, um, there's nothing to be concerned about. Okay. Thank you, Elliot. <laughs> You're a great friend. Oh, good God, that is... Go, 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 go. I, he already said that he was going to talk to him. Even, even with the thing armed, it's fine, it works. That's why she didn't do anything else, is because if she shut the door, it would arm the system again. Brilliant. Brilliant on her end. <sighs> oh, good. We're in my car. We're in my car. Oh, God. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. I can't. That is way too loud for me. Hold on. That is. Yeah. Okay. There we go. <sighs> so now we're driving. Didn't the mill burn down? Wait, didn't the mill burn down in the fire? Didn't they say that in one of the earlier chapters? Oh, the blood stain. Ooh, focus, honey. Focus. Jesus. <sighs> well, I mean, the car didn't get hit, so you should be okay. What, are we walking? Yeah, I thought the mill burned down. Why are we going to a burnt down place? And wouldn't those cinders still be hot? Like, how many days later? So much distress. Because Rachel got angry at her dad. Justifiably. To her. All her life. Yeah, he has been lying He's to her all his life. Lying. Hey. Being a dad's tough. Thanks, he dad. Justify what he's done. I'm just saying. I'd probably do anything to keep you safe. I love that this is her psyche actually going back and forth with her. Hey. Dad. Yeah. Did you ever lie to me? I don't mean telling me that ashtray I made for mom wasn't a piece of crap. <laughs> I mean, like, really lied about something that might hurt me to know. I mean, all parents kind of do. I think you didn't. I suppose everyone lies. I just don't know. I just don't know anymore. That's what makes it so horrible. Yeah. James Amber, the perfect dad. And James Amber, the scheming asshole. Would act exactly the same around Rachel. Yeah. Oh, sweetheart. Yeah, they would. You're a terrible liar, so I couldn't have been much better, right? No, I disagree. Less. Of course not. I think it depends on what it was. Like the 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 good family person answer is, yeah, of course, like I'll have your back, but in real life, it depends how egregious that was. There are certain lies that would be too far for me. That even people I love more than anything in the world wouldn't be able to bridge and the thing is it's not whatever act it is would never be nearly as bad as the fact that 
maybe they lied to me about it for years and, and tugged me along and made me think everything was good. I think it depends I what it is. It depends on what it was. That's the trouble, sweetheart. The truth's risky. And the idea of you loving me even a little less, I don't think I'd ever want to risk that. Okay, good good dad answer. Good dad answer. Really ready to hear the answer to your question? Don't aren't we aren't we in a rush to get somebody whose life is in danger? I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Problem is, I'm dead. So how am I supposed to tell you anything? That's fair. Anything new. You know, I appreciate that. I genuinely do. Yeah, what was the point? It's better this way. I wish you'd have told me. It's probably better this way. I guess it's better this way. Not knowing. Ignorance is bliss. Then I'll always be a perfect dad. That's the problem. To say that. Oh, but that's not a good... Putting dead people up on a pedestal is permanently perfect is problematic in its own way. <sighs> oh. No that way. song. My ride. Aww. My tunes. Well, I'm not at all shocked. No. She's gonna go back to the country, I'm sure. Nope, nope. She's just driving off. Alright, cool. Goodbye. Ugh. Am I seriously going in to face Damon Merrick? All for Rachel. Am I crazy? Probably. Hella crazy. Yep. I'm glad you're here, Dad. You don't want me to go? No. Yeah. I like the company. Sometimes, Sometimes you need the delusions. You don't want to miss this. Things are about to get real. Yep. She needs the strength, man. She needs the strength of somebody to be there for her. Oh, this is not going to go well. This is not going well. <sighs> All right. Oh, okay, so it did burn down. We're in the remaining bits of the mill, I guess. All right. He sent me because his daughter's in the hospital. Is that blood? That might be Frank's blood. They clearly heard you pull up, honey. It is. It's probably Frank's, though. Frank? I just want to make sure you're okay, honey. Please. Ah, uh, this is not good. Well. Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. That's probably not Frank. That's probably Sheldon Pike. I bet you that's Sheldon Pike. Because she, uh, pointed to him and accused him. This place looks totally different. Then the bar we started at. I like how it's beginning and ending at the same point. Oh. Where the hell is Sarah? Probably upstairs. Not that you can get there. Um, sheet metal? What's that gonna... Why are we moving it? Like, you're gonna be making a lot of noise. Someone's gonna know you're here. I don't know. Don't mess with Damon Merrick. Don't tell me what to do. Oh boy. Well, there wasn't a graffiti option. There's a bong. Glad to see the bong made it. Yeah. A knife might not be a bad idea. Are we gonna be honest I never here? Thought I'd have to say that. Is that really gonna be a good idea to take it with us? 
No more beer. No more time. I've got to keep moving. I think I might need to take the... Whose phone? Sheldon, you got to believe me. I'm going to snitch. Who told you that? Nope. Nope. That's where we're leaving the episode. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. Be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Life is Strange Before the Storm. Take care, everybody.